so everybody knows that they have to get their you know knees bruised and their you know fall over ten times and have bad client experiences and have bad bad user experiences in order to grow. It's just something that's natural, and uh, it's there, there's no different you know with with enterprise solutions or you know customer solutions. The mistakes we ran into were, were they were many. Um, probably the biggest one was on the product side because we would get. Um, the product team all spun up around cool features that they could address for the end user experience, but um, we were kind of mortgaging the, the real core things we needed, which were around security, administration, and things that were really, really boring. And they were really boring, but they were really, really critical. I think one of the mistakes you, that we've made in the past is we overvalued people who have done They've literally, they know a lot about advertising. They may, may not be super smart. They may not have the thick skin that, it, that you need to sell, or they may have been the wrong culture fit. Sort of what, are, have there been sort of challenges in, in taking sort of the big idea and like actually translating that into a revenue model that works? That's always, there's always that case of the first customer and what they're going to pay, and is that an anomaly? Um, in our case, it was a big, big deal. Um, so there's also a false sense of security, like, oh, all our deals are going to be one point something, and we're going to kill it, and IBM's got nothing on us. And you have to figure out between your first sale and your 50th sale, that's still not a lot of data points. We knew that we had a, a product, and we knew that we had a pricing structure that would work, but there was a lot of fine-tuning that had to be done, to, and we're still doing that today.